Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Why, hello there, and welcome back. Welcome back, guys. Again, thank you for your support on Patreon. Couldn't do it without you guys. No, we absolutely couldn't. We really mean that. It, it, it makes a world of difference for us. Thank you. So you have this post on X from the CDC directly, it's straight from the CDC. Although bird flu does not usually infect people, there have been some rare cases of human infection with these viruses. Illnesses in humans from avian influenza virus infections have ranged in severity from no symptoms hmm. or mild illness to severe disease that resulted in death. Avian influenza and highly pathogenic avian influenza HPAI a, uh, H5N1 and H5N6 viruses, etc., etc., etc. You know, it, that's pretty wide. Um, death all the way down to no symptoms. Well, I mean, wow. no symptoms. No symptoms. Yeah. That really covers a lot of bases, doesn't it? Yeah, I mean, it's really serious and very concerning that you and I are probably walking around with avian bird flu really healthy but that doesn't matter I mean since when should we ever listen to our bodies I guess so the fact that I feel great doesn't really matter it doesn't matter it, no. it doesn't really but that According to the experts, think then. think about how how somebody could use this for diabolical means if, if, if they didn't like you, if they didn't like what you've said, if they didn't no. like what you think. They would never know. It kind of like could be like a witch hunt. I, I don't know. Has that ever happened? Hmm. Yeah. Well, I, I, they did burn witches, you know, and they did also uh, dunk them and torture them until they finally confess sometimes after hours or days of being tortured that they were a witch but hey you got that confession so you know vindicated right yeah yeah you know and, and, and it's just really sad and unfortunate and i i'm sure that they really meant well they meant to protect people right Ah, the darkness that arises time and time again from the system that is out there. As you know, you probably well know, uh, they have ouchies for livestock that they are rushing through. This is New South Wales. In fact, you know, these things have been out there um, for quite a while already. If anybody eats like just regular old bacon, from the grocery store that does have nitrates in it and that's not you know that you know is not organic not you know again all the things that we would want to make sure of you probably are taking in uh some of that uh ouchy stuff if you know what i mean it, it's been in pigs for a long time it's been in in chicken um I would never buy any pork products from any of your big box stores or any chicken from any of your big box stores that was not labeled organic, you know, free range, no hormones, no steroids, no antibiotics. In fact, you know, again, we, we only get, um, for us really and the dogs too, uh, any sort of proteins of an animal nature from people that we know locally um, because it's I think it's it's just it's Russian roulette and these things build up in the system over time and the system gets swamped and overwhelmed this is what you know cancer truly is 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 basically it's an overwhelming of the system when the system can no longer purge and get rid of toxins itself yeah, I mean, it's it's something that they, they've been building up to. And if people don't know what they're doing, they're just going to walk right into it. So this is why we continue to cover this information, because people don't know. And Mike and I have both been deeply affected in our lives by information that was not known, that harmed our loved ones in, in, a, in, a, in a huge way, you know, loss of life. I mean, you don't get any bigger than that. And it's because people didn't know. 
So this is this is what's behind our passion. It, it really is. It's we don't want to see any more lives lost. Absolutely, and you know, again, the war on dis, info. Uh, it's it's hilarious because you know, again, everything in this world is upside down and topsy turvy. Uh, you know, they say it's been found in, in cows, et cetera, et cetera. You know, nine different states already slaughtered millions of chickens and turkeys. You know, they're obviously going after uh, the ability of humanity to feed itself independently. Uh, you have doctors seriously undertaking bird flu preparations. Here we go. That's basically what it amounts to when you get down to it, you know, and that's probably the most positive that we could find when we look to the system and what it does to really, really help humanity. You know, the whole way we are indoctrinated, because we are indoctrinated, and when you go to school, it really is just simply a, a matter of impregnating ways of viewing the world into your mind. Yes, absolutely. There can be things that can be useful in, in higher education. Um, honestly, you know, I, I really didn't learn hardly much at all from going to a college. It really was everything that, that really of significance and value that I've learned has been more on my own and 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 again layman that term oh well that's a you're just a, a layman you don't really understand really what they should be saying is uh you can't grasp but we grasp because you haven't been indoctrinated like we have and that's really you know again when people and i've had people that are of a fundamentalist faith saying well, you can't understand it because you don't have the Holy Spirit. It's, it's again, it's the same thing. You don't understand it because you have a bigger grasp of the picture and you haven't been properly indoctrinated. You have a free mind, therefore you do not know. And they really don't like people who can think freely because we bring in other people and we teach them that there are other options besides that uh, horse and pony show, this song and dance that the mainstream keeps peddling. And once your eyes are opened, even just the tiniest bit, there is absolutely no going back. This was really, really concerning, although cute and entertaining. It just really kind of hit me because it's like now they're ready to roll it out. And all of this is so unnecessary. So when I see stuff like this, I mean, my heart literally hurts because it's like the system is just preparing other people to help keep the system up and going and and a lot of people who go in for help um, they're going to get band-aids and the whatever problem is in their body is going to roll on and it's going to get worse even though there might be a temporary illusion that things are getting better i mean it's not a pretty picture but i guess they do their best to paint a cute funny face on it oh i, I know a lot of you guys have seen the videos from when the plague upon the land first came out and they were doing funny videos with masking up and uh, syringes chasing people around and just all that chaos and craziness that we've seen, you know, but all, all joking and jesting aside, it really is mind control. Um, there was somebody that when we put out the video on 432 Hertz, uh, they made the statement and they said they're a musician that lower frequency 432 compared to 440. I don't want lower frequency. And, and again, it shows how they don't. So many people have absolutely no understanding. It, it's amazing the lack of comprehension that's out there, lack of ability to comprehend. The IQs have purposely dropped. And so many people are just guzzling their monster drinks, they're guzzling their colas, they're guzzling their beer, they're popping all these, you know, things from pills to make them sleep and like ambient, etc., to 
all sorts of things that you know lead to the same ultimate um, lower frequencies that are legal you know again uh, so many lawsuits have come in over Xanax and um, all these other you know anxiety drugs that again you know are in many cases the same sort of categories as the worst of the worst it's so sad it's so sick and it's so so true and it's so purposeful this is um the rocky fellers yeah music mind control and it's it's showing how here in 1885, the Music Commission of the Italian government declared that all instruments and orchestras should be using tuning forks that vibrated at 440 hertz, which was different from the original standard of 432 hertz used in France and throughout most of the world. Yes, because it does affect our energy field. And this was something that was pushed by the Rockefellers. Absolutely. And, you know, as you see here, a lot of people are very, very aware of this. Uh, Rockefellers intentionally put all broadcast frequencies to 440 hertz. Again, they control the media through um, all, all the outlets. So, you know, when they own the record companies, you know, when they own the music channels when they own everything they own the news this is how everything gets so distorted and yeah some people are are truly working you know for the system they could work for uh, a major corporation they could you know literally be part of the family in one way shape or form including you know being part of the secret societies that really are working together behind the scenes and this last line even God gift of the rainbow colors created by frequencies, including our aura and chakras. Yes, you know, that is the, the, the reality. Ultimately, light is information. And there is this resonance between light and sound that gives us everything because it's the combination of light and sound uh, that brings about the manifest universe. And I give it to my lovely lady. Light and sound creates form. So that should tell everybody pretty much is what you need to know that the the sound and the frequencies that you put around your body are going to affect you. They're going to affect the way you operate. They're going to affect the way you uh, connect to higher self. They're going to affect whether or not you have harmony. And, you know, Mike has been doing so good with his practicing and so many times he'll just be playing the guitar and he has everything tuned to um, a very harmonious frequency. And then I can just sort of zone out. I mean, it's great. You know, the energy added to to the, the practicing and the playing is something that's very beneficial to us. So that's usually what we're kind of bathing ourselves in. We're bathing ourselves in that. We're, we're careful about what we watch, what we bring in, and we're always making sure we are patterned in a, in a positive way. Now, sometimes he'll turn something up or there might be a mistake and the, something comes through the speakers and, oh my God, it's not that it just is loud to my ears. It, it hurts my body and there's some things that he might like to play and I'm not downing any music I, I I'm not I mean I like a lot of the stuff that's really curious but there's some things that he has turned on and oh my god it hurts my body it physically physically hurts and I know that that cannot be good for my energy body and if my physical body responds to my energy body then what am I doing if I if I listen to this over time time and time and time again, I'm going to create problems in my physical body. And, and this is where uh, patterning comes in. And this is where helpful patterning and beneficial patterning, harmonious patterning, when we have our energies around us uh, in order, this really helps our physical body. It helps us heal in, in a big way. And it, it's just so obvious that these controllers they distort that they want you to have dis-ease they want your energy body to be twisted and then not reflecting well on your physical body this will bring about problems over time absolutely and so for me the first understanding of uh healing with frequencies and healing with 
energy because ultimately that's what everything is 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 energy and ultimately everything is consciousness and there's a relation between our consciousness and energy and also again the frequencies that we're exposed to and the frequencies that we are cultivating in our lives uh you know it, it, i think it was first something that i ran into when i started to go to um karate and that was like 47 years ago, 47, 48 years ago, a long time ago, it got me going down the path of, of studying things like Taoism and, and learning about prana and, you know, going down both the path into traditional Chinese medicine and Ayurveda and the Vedic way of looking at at life and consciousness when you look at this image you can see 432 hertz is beautiful and that's resonant and whereas 440 is is distorted and this is water and this is again something that um dr emoto had shared with the world and how he could f flash freeze these different frequencies so we could actually see what they look like when they're affecting us this is harmonious. 432 is a harmonious frequency, and 440 is not. And you know, <laughs> that's irregardless of um, irregardless of the genre of music. That's something else as well. But I just wanted to share this because we do have chakras, whether people believe in them or not. They're scientifically verified. These are gateways to consciousness in different densities. The root chakra, as you see, 432 hertz. So uh, it's grounding. When we're doing that music, like that's what Cindy says, it's very, very grounding, which you need a strong root system in order to produce lovely leaves and flowers and more branches without being properly rooted the the tree the flower the plant it can't blossom no no i mean it, it really struggles and if if a flower is struggling or a tree is struggling you you don't sit there and just stare at it and and tell it you look like crap no you go to the soil you look to the soil what's wrong with the root system what's wrong with the grounding system and the 432 puts you right where you need to be it puts you in your divine seat so to speak so that you can grow and you can flourish and you can be your best self and this is something that they've taken away from us and on so many different levels making it out to be that it's something good and it's something standard and it's something innocent and it's something safe but no, I mean, sound is something that needs to be taken seriously and treated in such a way that we understand that sound can be just as healing as anything or it can be just as harmful as anything else. It, it, it should be taken very seriously. Absolutely. And this is why, again, yeah, the CIA and the FBI and other agencies, not just from the U.S., um, have done psyops in programming related to music because they can, again, get people to expose themselves to music that's disharmonious. It's never going to um, allow the humans to root ground and blossom. It's so again when we look to things like what they give us with modern medicine and the fear of all these uh, viruses and bacteria etc cetera, etc cetera, in qigong which literally just means energy work when you gather and cultivate the energy when you circulate the energy when you do things like intentionally purge yourself of lower frequencies it allows you to blossom. It allows you to root, to ground, to draw up the proper nutrients for the body. And then your Wei Qi, Wei is external, Qi is the life force field, grows. As you see right here, it's like he's encircled in basically uh, an energy circle. Well, just simply the visualization of yourself being circled in a positive energy um egg you know that is one of the um that is one of the visualizations that's given in some schools of qigong 
training. Visualize yourself within this egg or a cocoon of energy and use different frequencies in order to promote healing and, and what is needed at that particular time. So when we use a color, for instance, if somebody is generally not feeling well and there's illness, using a bright, vibrant green color and visualizing yourself just encapsulated in this egg or this circle, this energy web of protective healing frequency in a real, real vibrant, see it like a crystalline spark. Sparkling. Think about how uh, light will reflect through crystals and sparkle. Hold a good visualization in your mind's eye. Just basically working on your ability to visualize is extremely important. Extremely. And maybe that's something that we've never actually gotten across. Like, for instance, sometimes when I'm doing mantras and I don't have my mala beads with me, to run through 108, which is traditional, or cycles of 108 uh, mantras is the traditional way of doing things. It's an auspicious number. It's thought to be a blessing. And what I'll do is I'll literally visualize the number itself, not counting in my head, not counting one, but just seeing the number one as I do it. And when I go into the second mantra, I actually see the number two all the way on up. I, I'm visualizing 54. I'm visualizing 5-5. Five, five. I'm not actually saying it in my mind. I'm just seeing the numbers roll by. Visualization is a skill that really uh, we all should be working on all the time to develop. Well, it's so important for manifestation. And, and a, a lot of times when we do energy work it preps the body for manifestation it, it creates this bubble of energy around you that's going to pull in those things that you are wanting but the meditation and the mantras when you work on that that becomes stronger and stronger and stronger so so that works too and when you're able to visualize you're bringing in this energy you're bringing in that thing so visualization becomes very important. The ancients knew it. The indigenous people knew it. You know, some people still have that. When, when we look at people's star maps, sometimes you can see that that's in a past life. And that's something that they have a lot of power in. And if you, ha you already have it in past life, you simply need to transfer it to this life. It's something that you can bring in to assist you with this life. So very, very, very important. Again, we see in a very, very limited range. And when you look to the chakra frequency color chart that's here and coordinate it with the color light spectrum, Again, you know, over on the left there is, is your root chakra, and it's not 440, it's 432. And then as we see, we go up towards the violet, which is the highest in the visible uh, light spectrum, and that's going towards the crown. So it, it's just a graded system, and, you know, it's not that one is better. Again, it's all about balance. When you look to traditional Chinese medicine, it's all about balancing your energies, balancing the elements within you. And it's the same thing uh, from the Vedic or Ayurvedic, the yogic system. It's balancing your doshas, uh, the elemental nature within us. So, you know, if you are in a lower frequency emotionally, but physically you feel good, you can visualize yourself surrounded in a bubble of violet light. You know, that energy is very, very powerful. It's uplifting. And the other thing is, like, the lower frequency um, beings don't like it. It's something that's extremely uncomfortable to them, and they will flee from it. So, you know, if you do have any sort of demonic energies that are causing mischief, the violet light can absolutely drive them out of your zone. It, it can really create a lot of problems. It can make them very, very uncomfortable. And uh, it, it is something that you need to be consistent with. It's not a, a one and done 
type situation you have to continue on i mean with entities it's just like driving out insects you have to make their home very uncomfortable for them for a, a bit of time and this is going to help clear your home and there's definitely a lot of um benefit to spending the time to clear your home because then your angels and your guides they have an opportunity to talk to you without the distortion of others yes and so cindy has um, a couple hundred tuning forks probably they're everywhere they're all over the house and they're in bags and stuff and each one has a specific purpose and again they relate to um, the different chakras different energy circuits organs, organs specifically yes uh, and what i do is i recalibrate certain organs so that that person can find healing and find what they need to do to heal that organ because we are so very unique and what works for one person might not work for other so you want to help the body expand itself to connect to higher self so that you can find out what is it you need to do to help heal yourself so these energies are very very good you want to have that harmony harmony with that organ you also want to be able to diffuse and remove any blocks that might occur and sometimes when you do do that you end up with a little bit of a purge and that might be uncomfortable it's called a cleansing crisis however uh, after you go through that and you know if you are steady in your efforts you're going to continue to heal it takes time but anything that's worth anything is not going to happen overnight it's not going to happen with a pill it's not going to happen with a 10 minute appointment with your doctor how long did it take for you to get in this horrible situation how long did it take for your body to 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 get sick it's it's gonna take some time to heal but don't you want it to heal from the root from the stem from the core so that you're whole and you're operable and you don't have the blocks and you can blossom in in such a huge way absolutely and again these energy centers the main chakras they can be closed down uh, with the, the negative corresponding uh, emotion that's associated with them. So when you look at the world situation, again, it's so obvious that not just the, the fact that most music that we're listening to is disharmonious and is not going to ground and root us, uh, it, it's much, much more than that. When we look to the migrant immigrant situation, what does that do? It keeps us moving. It keeps us from getting rooted and grounded where we can grow and then be ready to go ahead on life's adventures, which maybe includes traveling all over the place at some point in time. But when your basic needs, your basic needs are not established in, and are not secured, then it, it creates the conditions where all those chakras above it are going to have a hard time functioning. Most of the world has not been operating through the higher chakras. Most of the world has been you know, centered in the first and second and third chakras. And this is uh, the problem that we have with the world situation. Because when you look to that statue of Baphomet, it, the Ida and the Pingala, the, the masculine and feminine energies that run through, these are nadis that run through the energy centers. They terminate at the solar plexus. They terminate before the heart chakra. That's the system saying, we're not going to let you get to the love center. We're not going to let the, fl the free flow of energy run up to your heart, where all of a sudden you may be blessed with amazing feelings of understanding, oneness, and compassion, because finally the energy is moving past just keeping yourself um, in a secured state and, and you got your basic needs covered. It, humanity could have its basic needs covered. This world is bountiful. It's, it's being artificially driven into a, a state of lacking artificially. Food would be abundant. We, we'd have no need for anything. There's plenty of housing for everybody. The system creates this lack and the system hoards energy massive amounts of energy in the hands of few 
This is why it should be so damn obvious to people that you're not going to have a billionaire really, really be out there for humanity. They're hoarding so much energy for themselves that they are, again, restricting the open, even flow of energy on a global scale. This system cannot work. It, it simply cannot work to the benefit of the greater majority uh, out there because it's not intended to. It's intended to keep an elite class in the know and keep an elite class controlling the masses through cutting off the energy flow in their energy bodies. Again, most people out there never really get to have an open flow of energy all the way up to the crown chakra. Mm. It's the saddest thing. Most people can't even comprehend the level <clears throat> of compassion that can be achieved. They're probably so hurt and they're so distorted that they just, you know, they, they think that everything is just a load of C-R-A-P and they don't even want to look at it because they can't even fathom a world where everyone could be compassionate towards e each other and everyone could talk about their traumas and everyone could explain, look, I, I'm reactive this way because I had this trauma and I'm working on myself. You know, can you please help me? We can do this ourselves, it, but the trauma, just please understand, it is so deliberate in its nature. Everyone that's in control, you know, all the politicians, They've also been put in a position where they think everything that they're saying is right, but it's all just causing more trauma. So until you unplug, unplug from that system, it, it's going to be very difficult to heal. And one thing I see over and over and over is the very gifted people. But what's happened is the system has told them that they were wrong in their endeavors and something had gone wrong or they didn't do something right or the teachers all told them they were wrong. The psychiatrist said, oh, you're wrong. You know, even the parents traumatized says, oh, you're wrong. But they're so very gifted in their abilities. If they could just trust them once again, they can regain that ability to use these gifts to help them in this world. So, you know, this world has been really, really tough and, and rough and in such a deliberate way. It's really heartbreaking when you when you sit with it. But we're doing our best to help one person at a time, you know, get through this system and get through um, their traumas and work past them so that they can be free. They can be free in their energy and in their expression and in the way that they affect others. Um, you know, one, one candle, one lit candle can light a thousand other candles. And, and that's a beautiful thing. Absolutely. So it's obvious that we need clean water, clean air, good, healthy food, um, in order to thrive and yet the, the things that are not so obvious, like even the music that you're exposed to, the frequencies through the music, and still uh, there's probably a, uh, the bulk of the people out there that don't understand the, the fact that like the blue light coming off the equipment, the 5G, the, you know, the cell phone, uh, all, the, all the different energies that say you're bathed in in a big city all the time, are taking away from your body's immune system, are taking away from your Wei Qi field, your shields, that under normal circumstances, not being subject to these things would be just fine. A lot of people are understanding too, that the more one goes down the road of trusting the science, uh, the more one seems to have dysfunction of basic bodily functions. Your system is being overwhelmed. You're swimming in a sea of toxicity. One of the biggest keys is detoxing, and that's not just phys that's just not with food too. That's that's also with emotions, negative emotions, and negative frequencies, including uh, a lot of the music. Mm -hmm. Right. The, you know, a lot of the music, anything that's really really popular, or anything that's in the mainstream. You really want to kind of side eyeball that and, and I would say even avoid it, you know, because there's a reason they're putting it in front of everybody's face. Yeah, don't get me wrong. I, I still like my uh, one hit wonders of the 80s list. We have fun with that type of stuff all the time. You know, and when I say all the time, you know, here and there, but most of the time it, it's in 
um, we're bathing in really, really positive energies because, again, sound and light bring about manifestation. So we have to be very careful of what we're creating and what we're also bathing in, in our environment. We can overcome anything if your Wei Chi field is strong. Uh, and absolutely, you can uh, overcome so much. It's again about balance in the body and it's about removing yourself from toxicity. Mm -hmm. Yes, and don't forget thoughts are things. So you want to do your best to stay on the upper side of those thoughts. If you're sinking into a dark place, do, do, do what you need to do to talk yourself up and out of it. Baby step your way out of it. Listen to some music that makes you happy. Um, try some very, very positive mantras. Just do something. Distract yourself. Go for a walk in nature. Ground yourself in your yard. Uh, focus on the sun. Just, you know, distract yourself. We're still, even though we're adults, we can still kind of treat ourselves like children in the sense where children distraction is one of your one of your best friends in so many ways if the child is getting in trouble or if they're upset we can help ourselves up and out of this absolutely we got this we got this together and i hope this illuminates some minds and brings some clarity to some and i'm sure it'll bring a lot more questions to others as always, guys, we thank you for your support. And if you do need to make an appointment with us, you can reach us through evolutionaryenergyarts at gmail.com. Usually about two to three weeks uh, to get on the schedule. Much love, source bless, and namaste. Namaste.